welcome to my home kitchen. Today I'm going to be making some banana and chocolate chip muffins, which is something we make a lot. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, if you could please do so to see lots more hints and tips from my home kitchen, my garden and my allotment. So this is a recipe I've been using for years. It's an Nigella recipe. It's actually a banana and butterscotch muffins, but I always use chocolate chips instead. So I've actually got double the ingredients in here, if it looks like a lot, because I'm making some um, as a gift for someone. Um, but I'm going to give you the ingredient amount for just a dozen and I will also put it in the description. So you need three ripe bananas, which I've mashed already. So you need 125 ml of vegetable oil and two eggs, which I've lightly whisked. You also need 250 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of sugar, half a teaspoon of bicarb and a teaspoon of baking powder, which are all in there. And one top tip, rather than sieving it, just use one of these balloon whisks, just to put a bit of air into it. It's much easier and much less messy. Shake it off. And we also need 150 grams of butterscotch or chocolate chips, which they're there. So I've done all those bits, and so now I'm gonna put my dry ingredients there so the first thing we're going to do is mix the egg and the oil in with the dry ingredients there we go that's all mixed in there the next thing i'm going to add in are the bananas just to make sure all the dry flour and sugar have all combined in. Looks like they pretty much have, but it's worth just double checking because sometimes you get a little puddle of the dry ingredients that haven't mixed in. And then all you need to do is put in the chocolate chips. Simple, incredibly tasty. I can't count the amount of times I've made these for my family. Absolutely go down a sport. And there we go, job done, all mixed. All we've got to do now is put it into the bun tins. Now, another top tip is to use an ice cream scoop, makes it a lot easier. So, I have preheated my oven to gas mark five. So, use your ice cream scoop. And then you just drop it in. So it's just, as you can see, it's kind of about the right size for a muffin tin. So it just makes it a lot easier. So you don't make lots of mess. Really easy for portion control. The mixture is in the muffin tin. So I used ripe bananas for this, and I would only use ripe bananas because it's much sweeter and it's a really good use of any ripe bananas so you don't throw them away. The book I used is the Nigella Express, which is a really, really, really good book. I used lots of recipes out of this book, I highly recommend it. And I will put the link in the description if you'd like to purchase it yourself. So these are now gonna go in the oven, gas mark five for about 20 minutes, and I will check after 20 minutes whether they need a little bit longer or not. <laughs> 